Welcome back. We welcome to our program now Dr. Frank Knight, who is a radiologist with uh, Radcare of Tennessee and also head of Erlanger's Mammography Department. And he's here to discuss an upcoming Boomer Basics lecture entitled Staying Alive, Why Breast Cancer Screening is So Important. Why is it so important? Watch this, Don. That's for my wife. Good. Okay. And this is for my technologist at Erlanger. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, the problem comes if you wink at your technologist and pull your ear for your wife, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. What were we talking about? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Okay. No, no. Oh, why breast cancer screening yeah. is so important. Well, it, it, it's been shown to be effective in reducing the, the uh, mortality rate from breast cancer. That's good news, then. It is. It is. And uh, most women know that now. And, and most women get the annual mammograms after the age of 40 that they really should. Uh, I'll be talking about, at, at the lecture you may mention, or mm -hmm. talk, I'll, I'll be talking about um, breast cancer screening things we've, we've used in the past and what's current and, and some things that are pro look promising for the future. And um, um, while I'm on television, I'd, I'd really like to reach the women that, that put mammography out of their mind or they say, I, don't, I just can't deal with that, I, yeah. or the concept of breast cancer, you know. I'm, some people deal, deal with things by repression or suppression, just putting it out of your mind, and I, I deal with a lot of things that way myself. But, well, um, I think we all have a tendency to. Sure, that's, that's, can, that can be very healthy. But if, if they could just get those mammograms to be routine, where it's not a big deal, they know where they're going, it just doesn't take a long time to get it done, it's part of their route regular routine they schedule it and get it out of the way and then in a few days they get a normal report back from me or their doctor and their radiologist plus it, it's just it, to me it makes common sense that if you if you're checked and checked regularly you have a better chance of discovering something or the physicians do and 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 that's that can make the difference right right breast examination a good annual exam by the doctors is the is the, is the primary thing and then the mammogram is is secondary really mm -hmm. it's a tool that her primary doctor can use to help increase his ability to detect detect breast cancer as early as possible how do you feel about because we've seen to have had a couple of people in the news recently I, I say like singers actors whatever uh, that if they discover they have breast cancer they want the other breast removed as well maybe it's a precaution or whatever and in certain situations that that can be helpful but generally not uh, what one problem that that pops up is a, a young person, a, say a 25-year-old actress, will will get cancer, and then, you know, she'll she'll say everybody's got to have an MRI. That's an example. Yeah. That's that's just the return on that is, you know, ridiculously low, and the cost is ridiculously high, and the problem is. They use the term um, high risk. Yeah. Well, half, half of my patients think they're high risk. If anybody in the family ever had breast cancer, they think they're high risk. I and mean, that's not true at all. The, uh, for young women um, who have a, a certain genetic predisposition to breast cancer, then that's a problem. Yeah. But that's yeah. a small percentage, and it's women that need to be that have you know more than a 50 percent chance or they sure. have an 80 percent chance of getting breast cancer in their lifetime okay the average woman it's more like one out of eight or one out of ten that's over their entire lifetime any given year it's more like one out of 200 that they would have breast cancer so it's for most people it's a routine thing they need to be fast in their seat belts don't smoke yeah maintain good weight, watch your blood pressure, you know, things like that are yeah. even more important. Yeah, I understand. Uh, once again, this lecture is going to be Tuesday, October 21st, starts at 5.30 at Erlanger East Campus, uh, and, and it's a free event, but you need to pre-register, so there's the number, call 778-LINK, and, and tell them you want to be there. It is that simple, and, and I think you will uh, be a better person for it all along. Thank you, sir. Thank Pleasure you, to see you today. We enjoyed it.